Taurus, welcome to your April reading. Starting off, I have Full Moon in Virgo. You are good enough. So what I'm seeing is, like, this is revolving around, like, self-worth. Like, you have... What I'm seeing is, like, you can kind of, like, conceptualize your self-worth. Like, in terms of, like, um, let's just say... This is the idea of what I have, like, I'm worthy of. I'm worthy of A, B, C. I'm worthy of this per dating this person, being with this person, going to this school and doing that thing. And what I'm seeing with that is that you're much more worthy than that. Like, you're worthy to have, like, everything that you want to experience. But what I'm seeing, like, within, like, the second card is, like, your fire coming as your medicine. So, like... What I can see is, like, maybe someone's in the past, maybe someone in the past has, like, gaslit you into, like, believing that you're not worth, um, however much, like, you, tr like, your inner being, like, knows, uh, how much you're worth, and, like, even I can't, like, determine that, like, that's something that you gotta determine, but, like, I'm seeing, like, even if you, like, try to conceptualize it, or, like, put it, like, within a bubble, like, it's much more bigger than that. So, like, take your self-worth. Like, if this is what you believe that you're worthy of, now expand upon that. Like, you're much more worthy than that. Okay, so, like, you feel like you're worthy of, like, this much, like a bigger circle. Well, you're much more worthy than that. And, like, keep going on so forth than that. And, like, what I'm seeing is, like... Um, because, like, people have, like, gaslit you into, in the past, into, like, not believing that you're worth as much as, like, you truly are, then, like, that's going to, like, put, like, limitations on, like, what you believe that you are, and, like, for your overall message, like, for the final card, I have abundance. I am grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life. So, like, with abundance, what I'm seeing is that, like, you're worthy to have everything that you desire, like, for your dreams to come true, for, like, you to get your dream job, go to that dream school, have that dream relationship, whatever it is that you desire, like, you're worthy of it, but I feel like you need to calm your inner fire first, so, like, um, I feel like therapy, like, would be, like, a really good way for, like, you to resolve that, or, like, some sort of way for, like, get, like, some sort of therapy, it's, like, what I'm seeing also, like, ASMR, that, um, I've been looking into those, like, it's real, it's very therapeutic for me to, like, understand, like, my own value, and I feel like once you understand, like, that you are good enough to have whatever it is that you desire, like, the abundance will follow. Yeah, like, the abundance is surrounding you. Like, all you have to do is just walk through the door. And, like, you can get whatever it is that you desire, Taurus. Alright, so that's all I have for you during the month of April. Thank you for watching, Taurus. Um, keep those vibrations raised way up. Um, I feel like Leo or Alexandra says that. But either way, like, that's what we're about um, during April. Like, raising our vibrations and um, doing good. So stay safe and take it easy, Taurus. Virgo, welcome to your April reading. Starting off in your first, with your first card, I have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So since this is the full moon in Capricorn, what I can see is like if you've been working hard or if you've been like putting your nose to the grind, and I can see like um, all that work is like finally paying off. So like if you've been like saving up for like uh, trying to move out or like trying to get your own apartment, then like I can see that as like a possibility. And like with your second card, I had the sacrifice coming as your medicine. So like maybe you've been saving up for like your own place and then like um, it might seem like a little pricey, but it's going to be worth it because like all the effort and hard work that you've put into like trying to obtain it, it's like actually like coming into a flourishing. 
And what I'm seeing is, like, um, with the sacrifice, like, even though this is something that you're letting go of, so, like, you're letting go of, like, all this money that you have to give to, like, uh, put a down payment on, like, an apartment or your own place, like, it's going to pay off because, like, every sacrifice that you give is going to be the better, especially if it's, like, you heading towards something. As far as, like, your overall message, what I'm getting is, like, the third eye chakra. So, like, I see the wisdom of my higher self. And I apply this wisdom in my life. So what I'm seeing is, like, um, focus on your third eye chakra and, like, uh, try to, like, bring out, like, your inner uh, intuition. Because I'm really getting the word uh, intuition heavy. Because, like, I feel like even though, like, um, you've been, like, putting your nose to the grind and, like, you've been, like, working hard to, like, um, build something or get, like, more stability for yourself... Um, it's like now you have like the intuition, like now you know like what to do with that, what to either do with the money or like what you want to do with that. And like it's going to pay off later. Um, about uh, for April, we're all about like raising our vibrations throughout this month. And I feel like opening your third eye chakra and focusing on that, like that will give you the clarity that you need to raise your vibrations. Even if you feel like you have to make like a sacrifice and let go of something that you feel was um very important or even if it was like a friendship but i'm seeing more so like um it's money or that um what else yeah so i see it, it's all gonna pay off um that's all i have for you virgo for the rest of april enjoy it the rest of the month and take it easy be safe Capricorn, welcome to your April reading. Starting off with your first card, I have communication is the key. So, like, I can see, like, if you've recently, like, asked someone out on a date or if you're, like, um, trying to get to know someone better, like, the best way you can, like, actually get to know them is, like, actually communicating with them. Like, you don't have to wait around and sit and wait for them to make the first move. Like, you can actually, like, go out and, like, make the move yourself because, like, what I'm seeing is that, like, they're just as interested in you as you are with them, but, like, it's going to take you not being shy and for you to, like, get out of your comfort zone a little in order for you to, like, make this work and in order for something to, like, come into uh, fruition um with the moon coming as your medicine what i'm seeing is that it's time to get out of your head like you've had time to think about it you had time to like think about like what you want to talk about like with this person or like to get to know this person better but like it's time to like actually start like taking the action to like get to know them as far as like your overall message and like what spirit wants you to know is movement meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. So, like, if you see the girl in this picture, like, she is happy. Like, she is exercising her root chakra. She is moving around. She is active. And, like, I feel like that's going to be very beneficial to you. Like, I feel like that's going to help you build your confidence throughout the month of April. So, like, um... Even just, like, go outside, get out of the house and, like, uh, speak to your friends and, like, um, go to a club, go dancing, go to a dance party, throw a party or something. Just whatever you can do to, like, start getting that momentum going because I feel like there's a little bit of stagnant energy and, like, you can actually, like, get that movement, that energy flowing and I feel like it's going to, like... I want to say, like, give you a power boost from being able to, like, actually move around and, like do things with your body like I can see like um there's a little bit of a need for grounding but like through movement that's going to be one of the best ways to do that so like just after this video throw on some music and get started dancing like have some fun and that looks like that's all I have for you for your reading thank you for watching Capricorn you have a good one stay safe